Okay, the first way to check your DJI battery health is to enter the DJI Go4 app. Now you have to be connected to the drone, so you can either connect via your Wi-Fi just using your mobile phone, or like I like to do, because it's just more reproducible and I just find it way easier. Like when, as soon as the mobile phone detects the remote control is connected, it automatically connects to the drone. It just makes more sense, it's easier. But what I do is connect to the drone via the G DJI I go for app, then I go to the top three little dots in the corner, and then I navigate in that main menu to the uh, battery settings, and there you'll see three individual units or cells and their corresponding voltage. So a maximum fully charged voltage is 4.2 volts, and you wanna make sure that the battery voltage does not go under 3.3 volts. That is when your battery is no longer able to store any charge, and that is where serious damage also kind of uh, occurs. The second thing you should look for is that all of the cells are the same. Each cell holds a maximum of 4.2 volts and you want them to um, to deplete their charge at about the same rate. You're also looking for the temperature, so making sure the temperature isn't extreme, isn't crazy extreme, you know, your ambient temperature plus a little bit, plus 10 or so degrees is where the um, where the drone's going to sit and you want to make sure that you're not getting up to that danger zone, you know, where things can start catching fire. And then in terms of the overall voltage, if your battery is rated to a nominal voltage, of say um, charging voltage of 13.2 volts, then you probably don't want it to be any more than that. Um, and that is how you check your battery health for the battery that's connected to your drone. Now you have to repeat that for each battery that you've got. And also you can just uh, run the battery out, wait until you're down to say 50 or 20% or um, and then just recheck just to make sure those numbers align with what your drone is telling you in the uh, first person view, heads up display type view when you are flying your drone. That's a great way to check your battery health and it's the number one place to go. This video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com, so go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Drone Flying Pro is becoming a massive resource for loads of drone problems, drone issues, drone buying tips, drone flying guides, how to get better as a pilot. Go check it out because there are tons of articles with lots of information about how to just make a drone purchase awesome and also how to become a better drone pilot, so go check it out. Some drones allow you to check the health of the battery without even plugging it into the drone. All you have to do is hold down the button for five seconds. Now this is a DJI Mavic Air battery and that just simply doesn't work. But if you've got a Mavic uh, Pro, a, Ma a Phantom and the Inspire series, I think they are the ones that allow you to check the health of the battery just by holding down the on button for five seconds. Now what I recommend you do is go check out your manual specific for that uh, model of drone that you are testing and it's smart battery because it's going to vary slightly as DJI changes its kind of software in the smart battery and its hardware interfacing uh, you're going to come across different kind of nuances of the sorts of ways that you can tell if the battery is in good health so go check it out in your uh, in your manual and there it will tell you how long to push the button for but also what the buttons mean um, sorry what the lights mean when they start start flashing because here there's four uh, lights and you want to make sure that once they tell you what they're doing what that means so I'll put uh, a little bit of a diagram here of what you're looking for in your um, instruction manual but that is a way to test some DJI batteries it tends to be the older models um, and uh, yeah you'll be able to tell the health battery right away without having to go through the rigmarole of turning on your drone connecting and going through all that but there we are there's another way there are also some ways to check your battery health that actually don't involve looking at numbers or anything like that. It's really just a way for you to double guess and double check all of the things that you think could be wrong with your drone. The first one is monitor how well it holds charge. Now what I recommend you do is get your drone battery and uh, charge it up. Then stick it in a drawer on its own or plugged into the drone for about a week, a couple of weeks if you can, if you're not flying that often, um, and then just check it. Is it 
uh, is it sort of losing its charge? Now, smart batteries do actually lose their charge over time, and that is because they are unstable when they are stored at 100% um, the capacity. So what they do is they slowly deplete over time to about 30 to 40% of their overall charge. Um, so if that happens, that's where we want it to stay. Um, but you, that rate of change happens relatively slowly. And in a couple of weeks, it shouldn't go down that much. You know, maybe if it's 80, 70, something like that, that's how you can check that it's holding its charge. Um, and also check to see if there's a difference between outside and inside the drone. Um, and also just check the physical stuff. Um, check to make sure that all of the um, connectors are nice and clean, that it's actually registering well in the drone. And uh, yeah, that's the second way, like, you know, a non-direct way of uh, trying to see if your battery is failing in its health. Another thing that you should monitor is flight time. Now, go check out my other article where I talk about, um, you know, how to extend your flight time and why your drone battery or your drone isn't flying as much. But there, um, I talk about essentially just monitoring the flight time. So, you know, an average drone these days can get up to about 25 minutes to 30 minutes of flight time in normal conditions. The manufacturers, they're a little bit cheeky when they tell you, you know, the DJI Mavic Air is apparently rated to about 25 minutes, but it doesn't get that in real life. I get anywhere between 17 and 20 minutes, depending on the conditions. So your drone, well, after you've flown it a few times, you'll get kind of get a sense of what's possible with it. Um, and if you notice that you're flying and you cannot really um, yeah, keep the drone in the air for as long as you used to, or that it kind of doesn't evenly uh, lose or or yeah, or sort of go through its power, you need to just double check that the battery health is okay. Just because a nice, good discharging drone rate is kind of continuous, continuous, continuous. If you notice that there's large jumps or that it doesn't sort of go smoothly, that's another way of showing that your battery health is not as good as you think it is. Um, but you'll get a sense of what's right for your drone. And if you notice any changes, that's the time to jump in the DJI Go4 app and just double check all of those uh, health settings to make sure that there isn't a problem with one of the cells. The fifth way to check your DJI battery health is overheating. So like I said, in the DJI Go4 app, you can actually check the temperature of the individual batteries. But also one of the best things for you is to get used to what your drone feels like after a flight and also after charging. Now these things are incredibly clever. They're incredibly um, sort of capable of looking after themselves in a majority of situations. But one thing you've really got to be sure of is that during charging, it does not overheat. That could signify some serious issues. So while it's charging, just go and touch it. It'll be warm, but it shouldn't be dangerously hot. And the same thing about discharging. You know, if it's discharging uh, strangely and it is overheating, your battery health definitely needs a, a look. And you know, if in doubt, just change the battery, get rid of it because even though they're expensive, you don't want it you know, causing any issues, catching fire, um, you know, damaging your drone in any way, or even damaging uh, whatever item is near this drone as it's charging. You know, you could easily burn down a house if you overcharge these things. They store a lot of energy. The lithium polymer kind of composite is a fantastic innovation because it allows you to store a lot of energy with not uh, you know much weight. So the weight per amount of energy is way uh, lower. But um, yeah, it can be incredibly hot and uh, you just want to make sure that this is looking after itself to its best ability. So touch it during charging, touch it after you've landed. If you notice any significant increase in temperature, it's time to get a new battery. So there we have it. There are all of the things that you should check to check your DJI battery health. Let me know in the comments if there's any that I've missed that you would add. Um, but overall, it's a battery. Change it if you can, because uh, there's nothing worse than this causing you issues because your drone is incredibly expensive and by simply changing the battery every so often, you'll be able to keep your drone in much better condition. You'll be able to make sure that your drone's flying in the best optimal way possible um, and you'll extend your flight times, all of that stuff. So do 
pay attention and pay particular care to your battery. Don't, you know, store it in hot places. Don't chuck it around. These things are not like your normal lithium iron battery. They're lithium polymer batteries, so they do need a little bit of extra care. Um, but with a little bit of extra care, you'll be able to make it last much longer and you'll be having, you know, a, a, couple of years, three years easily, these things will last. So just make sure that uh, you're taking care of your battery the best you can. If this video was useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up and I shall see you in the next video. Happy drone flying.